As you probably know, the last 20 years or so, there's been an explosion in research in uh, neuroscience and social neuroscience, and so much of this information is relevant both for clinicians and for people in therapy. And so it's kind of a race to, uh, to write books, to put the current information in, and there immediately after publication, there's one more study I want to add. So in my own mind, I'm always thinking about uh, rewriting and updating uh, the neuroscience of psychotherapy, of human relationships, of any book in neuroscience now um, needs to keep up with the new literature. And just in the last 10 years, for example, there have been findings about things called mirror neurons, which are very deeply involved in our ability to connect and attach with other people. Uh, a new neural system has been discovered in the central parts of our brain that help us to understand uh, meditation and mindfulness and self-esteem and empathy for other people. So when new editions come out, they come out because there's new information that uh, is relevant and significant for clinicians. And in uh, some things that have come up more recently are an expansion of uh, executive functioning and how we all in school learned that the executive functioning was in the frontal lobes. And now we're learning that it's uh, networks from the, from the frontal lobes to the parietal lobes and that we have multiple executive systems, at least three of them um, that I've uncovered so far. And so the books are always in process. And the minute I get one um, done, I'm editing it.